Jesus Oliveras. 425 representing USA. World record 477.5. Held by Ray Williams. Six years it stood and stands can it fall. I think he can do it. He did 475 in training only a week or so ago. Jesus, the strongest power lifter that ever lived. The crowd. Deadlift and total world records. Can he have the squat world record to it? We're watching a living legend do his thing and the crowd chanting Jesus. And he's still a young guy. Oh, there's a lot of miles left on him. Oh! Blink and you miss it! The whip of the bar nearly took him out. You don't see an Eleko bar whip like that. We've lost it. 425 and you blink and you miss it. So we'd expect a big jump from him now. And here we are, we're over a thousand pounds already. 455 being loaded for Jesus Oliveras. And you're starting to see us creep up on that 477.5. We're getting close, Joe. Yeah, I think he will take, well, we'll let him do this squat first before I give him another squat, but I would have expected <laughs> him to do 478 on his third. Michael Davis, Joey Flex, he's surrounded by his team. They look confident. Jesus Oliveras, crowd favorite. And why wouldn't he be the strongest man that ever lived? It's a privilege to watch him do his thing. That is a huge weight on the bar. Moved like a second. There was a time when a thousand pounds was on just unimaginable for Jesus Oliveras. It's an easy second attempt. And that was an easy second attempt. No doubt in my mind that as a minimum the world record is gonna go on for his third. Look at how and 478 loaded for Jesus Oliveras. This record has stood far too long by the legend Ray Williams. I remember when this record fell, nobody thought it'd be taken, but here we are, Jesus Oliveras, 478. Can he do it? I believe he can do it. 2,000 pound squats, same day. I think we've run out of lead plates at this point. Yep. And the crowd is hush waiting to see him hit the platform expect the chance to hit once he's in view history in the making joe you can see the bend on the bar already here he comes here he comes hey zeus chance Echoing around the arena. And I can't see the stage anymore. The crowd are on their feet. Thank God we have monitors. The crowd is on their feet. Everybody wants to see him hit this. 5,000 pounds for the prize money is the least of it. Struggling to get it under control, but he's there. Big brace. Oh, and he muscles it up. Absolutely. Does he get it? Two to one, the strongest man alive, Jesus Oliveras, breaks the squat world record. Now that looked good to me. I know the jury do have the ability to overturn that, but I'm looking at them and they're not moving. That is a world record for Jesus Oliveras. Speaking of giving a show, Jesus Oliveras, 255 kilos being loaded. Jesus has gone over 600 pounds previously. 601 to be exact, that's 272.5. A 
huge expectations on this guy. He set the biggest total ever done in knee sleeves last year. There was some talk that he might set the biggest total ever done even in knee wraps this year, but that is a big ask. He is a living legend. We haven't seen a man of his talents in history. Wow. Okay, so his best is 272 and a half. We could well see 275. Yeah, when you're as large as Jesus and your bench is that big, 10 kilo jumps aren't very big asks. Jesus Oliveris with 275 loaded, and this is a personal best for Jesus. 272.5 is his previous personal best. 606 pounds already. And most of the uh, previews had him at 275 or 277 and a half. So he clearly thinks he's got a lot more than that. 20 kilo jump on bench press. Wow. But look at this mountain of a man as he steps onto the platform. And he's a crowd favorite. So the record is this, it's Ilias Booglum, isn't it? 291.5 from memory, I might have that slightly off. I don't think he's taking another 20 kilo no, jump. I let's don't think <laughs> he is, but let's see how this moves. <laughs> It, it looked like it might have just arced God, a little towards yeah. his face a stitch yeah. early. I think so. I'd expect him to put that weight on again, and I would expect him to get it next time, to be honest. But that was interesting, because where did he expect to end up loading that for his second? See, it came forward, I think, a little early on. For Jesus Oliveris, 20 kilo jump from his opener, missed it on his second. Looked like it might have just come forward to his head a little earlier than he wanted. See if he can make a little bit of corrections. That bar path is pivotal when it comes to the bench press event. Especially when you're right on the limit of strength, the slightest mistake will take it out of range. We've seen people miss and come back and hit. Did he rack it? Yes, and that, he no, what? He racked it. He racked it too early. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, what a he shame. He gets to the top if you watch, and he just throws it back in the rack. Oh, no. Gave away that beautiful attempt. He had it. 410, he's made look like an opener in training. Now, I'm not sure if it's telling if he's stretching his back or not. I'm not going to read too much into that. We've seen him absolutely smoke 420 in training. This is 380. We'll give him a 1113 total. Oh, oh. oh wow. Lost his balance. Just a little too quick. Strength look like it's there. Well, was it grip or was it balance? I heard. I think both. You look, his grip does oh. go, but I don't know if that's because he went backwards. And speaking of Jesus, retaking 380. Now, of course, all his plans for what he was going to do today and all the expectations cannot be met because he had a difficult time on bench and now he's missed his deadlift opener too. And 380 looked pretty quick and easy for Jesus but lost balance at the top and you know you see the balance being lost at sumo not this much with conventional like we've been seeing no and I'm surprised he didn't go up because the strength was there it was very easy I'm expecting him to make easy work of this 380 kilos Oh, he's kind of back on his heels again, but he makes it. 
three white lights. So Jesus looking to bump down Gustav, retain his title. And I think he's got 429 in him. What, what a come from behind victory this would be. Can he lock it out though? We've seen him do 426 in training. But at this level, and this amount of fatigue, oh. can he solidify that lockout? That's his brother in his ear right there. And look at the eyes of the strongest man that ever lived. I would love to hear what Pablo's telling him. I think he's got the strength. From 11th to 1st, a come from behind victory, and to go back to back, Jesus Oliveras. It gets no more tense than this. He's had a bad day. Can he still win on a bad day? Oh my gosh. Let that bull charge. He's going to charge out of those gates. This is the most dramatic final deadlift. This one pull is worth 35,000 pounds. 35,000 pounds on the line. It's a year's salary. Oh. Well, that is not how we expected this to go at all.